Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CG, CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software of CB Plus. Today we are discussing about CMOP 20 for PC. Basically in this video we are going to discuss with you what is CMOP 20 for PC, what are its features and function. Then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on your PC and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is CMOP 20 for PC? Basically, it is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your screen. It is also used to merge with the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera, not only the live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channels at a time, you watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. to take the backup of the recorded videos and many more. Now, we will tell you that to download and install CMOP for 20 on Windows OS, we have to take the help of the Android emulator called BlueStack and and with the help of it, we download and install CMOP20 on, on the PC. Okay, so I will make a separate video that how to install BlueStack on the PC and I will give link in the description. Also, so can you, can, you can watch the video that how to install BlueStack on your PC. Once after successful installation of BlueStack, you find the BlueStack 10 or BlueStack 5 on your, on your desktop. Just double click the BlueStack 10. It will open the interface. Now just click on the app player. When you click on the app player, it will create an Android environment to run the Google Play Store or Google services on this device. And this is only this is this app player only create an Android environment to run any Android app on your system. Now here you find the option tablet is starting. Just click on the system apps and search for Play Store. And search for CMOP. 20 here it found just click on that and click on installed when you click on installed is a totally automatic process you don't need to click anywhere First is download the app on your PC, then it starts installing. So connect with the network with the 5G so that it can start fast. It is totally automatic process, you don't need to click anywhere. For it start installing, downloading, then it start installing. When the installation is complete, you find the option open enable. Now it is installed completely. You should find option here. One more thing I would like to discuss that when you, it is installed completely, you find this icon on the desktop also like CMOP20 here. Just double click the icon and it, it directly open the app. Just click open. Click allow. And this is the interface of the app. Here it asks for a registered new user sign up here. Forgot 
password you can do it by your own i just make a video for education and training purpose i don't want to waste time just click on the local and here you find the add option just click on the add here you find the install on cloud ip domain wi-fi cloud search so if your pc and your system and your dvr and your ip camera on the same network you can click on the wi-fi cloud search and if you want to connect with the local ip address you should click on this ip domain otherwise you should click on star cloud where you find insta cloud option when you log in your device you you find the option insta on device with dvr and where when you log in your dvr you find the option insta on on your device just copy that qr code or take that qr code or copy that serial number from there just click on the insta cloud here so you should put anything like test device here click on the this qr code it will take a qr code from here like this otherwise you should enter a id okay like in my case click on the admin and here you should enter the password please note that it is username and password of the device device means dvr nvr or whatever you are adding and click save now add device successfully now go to the live view option here you find a live preview playback playback means you check the recording and you can reset the device password also you manage the local setting from this also just click on the live preview and just click on this plus button and your camera comes live thanks for watching thank you have a nice day